Welcome back. Welcome to another lecture. So here we are going to continue what we are, have been doing. All right. Now we do have this profile page the blade. So we have copied the content from that one and we put it to the index that is located inside user's profile index blade. Now, how we can access this one? If you go back here to the route list, you can see the URI is actually user's profile and that is going to the index controller and index controller is returning this view. So let's test it out. One thing that you should remember is user slash profile that we have something, yeah, this is happening because we have something like authentication. Here it's saying that only authenticated users can see this. So that's why it's redirecting back to login. And I have only one user in my in my uh, in my database, and that's me. And that's why now I'll be able to see it. If I log out, so here it is, here we should put the profile content, and this is pulling out from this one. We are here. And if I refresh F5, that's it. Now if I log out, and if I try to access it again, user profile, I will not be able to do it. That's why I need to log in real quickly to back. And this is the importance of routes. So we can customize, we can put middleware, and we will we will f we will not be able to get there if we are just looking for authenticated users okay now we are loading this view here but this view is empty so i'm just going to save this one here and i'm going to users controller right here we can get registered sorry auth user so how we can get one we can create user here we can create user variable and say auth and we can get the user. Now, be sure that you need to import this class. So this class now, it's important. Let's see what's happening now. Nothing should happen because we are not providing any changes here. So I'm gonna say compact. And I'm gonna put, oops, I'm gonna put the user, this variable here. Oops. Now, I'm just saving back refresh nothing should happen no problems okay let's go back here and in our section content we can just make something here now let's create h1 tag in this one h1 we can have a class of mb margin bottom 5 and margin top 4 and let's put here welcome back in remember that we passed that var variable here user so if I can do a dime dump of the user you can see that this user contains what the attributes are rig contains all of the information I need to I, I can access so what I can do here I can just call it user name because this username is actually this one here let's see what's happening I'm gonna refresh welcome back Rick nice what else we can do here we can create a D we can create a row here and let's start making things here now I'm just gonna create a row inside that row I'm gonna have IMG here SRC but I don't have any IMG I don't store any value so I'm gonna leave it like that alt profile photo so it will be there as a profile photo now I want to wrap this one in what I will say call MD2 call MD2 and I'm gonna put it there what I wanted to continue is to create call MD8 and in this here I will go to the bootstrap 
table and I will grab some of the tables here okay now let's grab this one I'm just gonna put it I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna put it here now this is table table dark all good I like it so also what we can do here we can copy this one we can change it we can make a table table responsive here oops table responsive in the head I can put it here another class called table dark let's save it and see what's happening yep so profile photo will go here on this side and I will have the table there now the first is I'm gonna leave it like that and the other one I will say user username or name yeah username doesn't matter if I don't have a store if I don't store the username actual in this one in the how to say in the database so create it at just gonna copy this one and I'm gonna paste it and I'm gonna say update it at so what I'm going to try I'm gonna try to pull out information from here right from for this guy user Rick and this is a table heading it will go there so yeah so I don't need anything else what I do need here I need to get out of this table I need to go here in this table body and because here it's giving me one so what I can do is I can say user ID very simple I can copy this part here and I will say user name this one will be user email very good and it will be here oops and now I have too many so user created at underscore oops underscore at and I'm just gonna copy this guy here and I'm gonna put it there I'm gonna say um, what else updated at because we have created and updated upstairs here up here and not upstairs very good now I really don't need this Jacob I really don't need the other one so one table row inside, inside table heading this is table data let's save and see what's happening here it is I do have Rick that's the ID that I'm pulling I do have the email I do have the created ad and updated ad. very good professional now what I would like to say here let's create a link here this link we still haven't created but it will be scope of call even if you don't put that one it will work and I will say edit and here we can just create it we're not gonna use it maybe now so what I can do I can create another so inside sorry inside this table row inside this table row I'm just gonna create a table data here and I will say H a link but this one here we will change the route we will put a sorry we will put curly brace brackets route and inside I will say user okay let me just point it out that we can use user profile edit very good user dot profile dot edit also what we can do here as a second parameter we need to put which user ID right this user ID so user ID very good and after that I'm gonna say class let's put a class oops let's put a class here so BTN BTN let's put a success guys you can put it whatever you want okay now do we have our I class working here I'm not sure let's test it out I class of FA FA check and that will be after this you don't put it here inside because sometimes I'm making mistakes put it this one here and it will give me it will give me a bad font that I don't want it let's hope that this is not gonna break here it is 
So if I hover it, if I hover it, you can see that I go to user on the down here, on the bottom, on the left bottom corner. So you can see user profile slash one slash edit. And this is what we need, user profile. And this is why we put the variable or the parameter there. And the parameter is actually the, the ID. If it's post, it's gonna be post ID. If it's user, it's gonna be user. If it's something that you are creating, it's a, I don't know, whatever you wanna create, it's gonna be there. For example, if it's add, it's gonna be the add number there, edit, slash edit. And we're using this one naming convention and this will hit the edit controller. So yeah, what we can do next lecture, we can try doing things with that. Now, if I hit edit, it will go there, but we don't have anything. We don't have any view. Our edit controller, here it is, that is doing this. So we can actually, the ID, let's see. So it's giving me only one, right? The ID that I want to edit here. So it's hitting this function but you don't have to write this one but this function actually we are going to make a couple of changes here so in that function what we are going to try is we're gonna find the user and we're gonna return it to some view let's I'm just gonna make it simple user equal user find find or fail that will return me a different type of error instead of find now we do pull this user but we need to import it app user right because that user is the user model and is this one actually right so we're namespace add and we just want this user to be included here sorry in here so in order to use all of the methods functions that for that user so now if I do dime dump the user instead of only dime dump the ID look at what will happen so it will find me it will find the user and this is the user Rick so now I've, I've had the user so I had the user now and I can do whatever I want so I can return it this variable to a, to a view where I can change a couple of things, right? Okay. Now, let's do this only. Return. This view doesn't exist. We are just going to create users profile. Oops. Edit. By the way, you can use forward slash, whatever it is there. But I don't want to use. I want to use this convention, like here. And we will say user very good and let's go back here let's go in our views in our users profile and create this edit dot play dot php very good now here we are redirecting users we are just finding the users and we are passing that the compact to this profile edit and from now then the next lecture Probably we will work here on this edit.blade.php so to see how um, to see what we are going to do with this user. So if you like this video, thank you for watching it. And if you like, you can share my course, you can write a good comment, whatever you want. Just I want uh, I need your help and I need your positivity because at the moment in the whole world it's like mostly negative the, the moment that I'm shooting the video is there is a outbreak of the virus corona and that is not good so somebody in future when this will hear this it will maybe it will be funny but it's not and yeah I'm, we are living with these struggles at the moment so I uh, wish everyone uh, well although I hope this will clear really quick I don't want this my lecture to be viewed in one year from now and the virus to still be there but if that is the case in some regions I, I wish them all the best so thank you very much and I wish we uh, and I wish to see you in the next one